Hi everyone, just a quick video on catalytic converters, what they are and what they do. So first of all, what is a catalytic converter? Well, it's a way of reducing the tailpipe emissions on modern petrol and diesel engines. The idea is to reduce the emissions that are harmful to us as, as people, uh, and that's why they've been legally required on vehicles since, in the EU at least, 1993. But all modern vehicles, petrol or diesel, will have a catalytic converter at some point, uh, of some, some type. Uh, where would you find them? Well, the idea is that you find them as close to the engine as possible. Uh, catalytic converters can clog up and don't do their work until they're at least 200 degrees Celsius. So the closer to the engine you can get them, the better. This is a slightly older design, so this will be in the middle of the exhaust system. Modern ones would have the manifold, the exhaust manifold on one side, straight onto the catalytic converter. The closer to the engine it is, the quicker it will warm up and therefore it won't clog up. You can get also preheaters as well, so when you turn the ignition on, the catalytic converter chambers warmed up. Um, once it's running, it'll run at about 600 degrees uh, Celsius. So what are the components within a catalytic converter? Well, you've obviously got the um, stainless steel uh, body to it. Sometimes you can have heat shields on there as well, given how hot they get. And within it, you've got two, what we call substrates, which are these honeycomb elements in here. Hopefully you can see in there. So it's like a honeycomb uh, construction and there'll be a thin layer on top of those of some precious metals and materials that I'll get into. And there's another one here. You can normally tell the cap visually by these ridges, which show the different chambers and different elements to it. But you'll have a, one of those honeycomb substrates there and then another one around about here. So what goes in and out of a catalytic converter? So obviously we've got oxygen and nitrogen from the atmosphere. That's just gonna be taken on board with the, with the air intake system. It's 90% of what we breathe in right, right now. So. The bad things that come out after the combustion process are oxides of nitrogen, hydrocarbons, and carbon monoxide. Those are the ones that we want to try and reduce uh, for our own, own health. So first ceramic it goes through, there's platinum and, and rhodium layered on top of that honeycomb element, and that helps break, break down the oxides of nitrogen. Oxides of nitrogen are deadly, but if you split them in half and separate them, it becomes oxygen and nitrogen, which is again what we're breathing in right now. So that is a way of reducing that dangerous substance down to its basic components. Once it's passed through there, it goes onto the second ceramic, which has platinum and palladium in it. This is where the cost comes in because of these precious metals. And that does the second stage of the breaking down. So the oxygen, uh, the carbon dioxide that we've got, we've just produced some extra oxygen here. That then gets attached to the carbon monoxide and that reduces or waters it down to being carbon dioxide, which is less harmful than, than monoxide. We've obviously got the nitrogen and the oxygen still coming through the system as well. And we've also got the hydrocarbons. Again, the hydrocarbons can get broken down into two lesser, uh, lesser harmful emissions. Hydro, which is obviously water, and then the carbon, which is part of the carbon dioxide again. So we've got the oxides of nitrogen, hydrocarbons, carbon dioxide coming in. It goes through the reduction phase where it splits items, mainly to produce more oxygen. And then the oxidization phase, which is adding oxygen uh, elements to carbon monoxide, splitting hydrocarbons and reducing it down to carbon dioxide. So on the way out, all we should have is oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and water. So of all those, obviously carbon dioxide is the only slightly harmful thing, but it's obviously what we're breathing out all the time, so far less deadly to us than the, the ones in red here. Um, I hope that makes sense and I'll see you in the next one.